Alleluia, 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 it's Alleluia, Alleluia, it's Alleluia. If you're looking for true remoteness and have an intrepid spirit, then Nunavik should be your next destination. Found in the northernmost region of Quebec, Nunavik is a vast, literal Arctic tundra. The region is home to 14 indigenous communities of the Inuit, and getting here is no easy feat. The closest highway ends 500 miles away, but it's worth the journey. The region offers a unique perspective on Inuit culture, as well as rare and natural wildlife. You can see the northern lights in winter, and there are untouched national parks to explore when the ice melts. Winter brings lawn dark days, while summer brings the midnight sun. I traveled to the region in April with Inuit Adventures, a tour company that has hosted tours to the region since 2005. The company's mission is clear. It works for the Inuit people and only hires and works with local guides. I decided to go to Nunavik to experience the traditions, culture, history, and way of life of the Inuit but what I was most looking forward to was spending the night in an igloo, when I would help to build myself. We traveled by dog sled, being pulled by a real competitive team that belonged to our guides, and stopped a few miles out of town to the site where we would build our shelter for the night. Our guide's name was Peter Boy, and he was accompanied by his son Eric and brother Anukbuk. As soon as we arrived, they got to work right away. First, they had to find the ideal snow to use for the ice blocks. The snow can't be too soft, too wet, or too packed, or else it will collapse. Within about an hour, we were all doing something. Some helped lift the heavy blocks, each one weighs about 45 pounds, others packed in stone to seal cracks, and we all took turns making tea. Peter Boy never told us what to do, we just went in to help where we could. Building an igloo big enough to sleep 10 people was going to take a lot of time. Plus the dogs needed to be anchored in a spot to sleep, and we all needed to eat, which meant ice fishing. After taking turns banging a metal rod on the five foot thick ice, we broke through to the ocean. Within seconds, Eric caught a cod and then seven more. Building an igloo really is an art form. Each block is cut, shaved down, and then purposefully placed, and each wedge that fills the space in between is planned with care. The Inuit people lived in igloos and used them as their main form of shelter in the winter until housing was established in the communities. Peter Boy was even born in an igloo, and we spent the night listening to his stories about growing up on the land. Best sleeps are out here, said Peter Boy when we awoke in the morning. As an Inuit guide, he is teaching not only travelers, but his son and other young members of the community how to build igloos, dog sled, hunt, and thus keep Inuit traditions alive.